Hello, this is Hacker to Bean, and today we are going to visit five entities. Entity 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. Apparently, I've already visited a page for Entity 34, but I don't remember making a video on Dollface, so we're just going to do it now. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. With NC31, the Camo Crawlers. Habitat, level 61, and maybe majority. Description, these creatures are strange humanoid monstrosities with four arms with a grayish brown color when in a normal state. These creatures have huge, blind white eyes, instead using their hearing to hunt and attack at wanderers. They possess the ability to change their outward texture to blend into their surroundings, staying perfectly still. They usually hunt in packs. These creatures are also very intelligent and will help each other when another is in danger. With these behaviors, with these entities, it's best to make as little noise as possible, as they can only sense sounds and they cannot see with their eyes. Make sure there are no strange humanoid features on the walls, ceilings, or floors, as it could be a camel crawler. Throwing an object may buy you enough time to escape. Biology. This entity's skin is very dry and crusty, and will be gray or, or brown in its neutral state. Some will have fur. These entities have four arms and are very strong and intelligent. The entities have pincers on their mouths similar to insects. Most of these features will not be seen normally as they use their camouflage abilities to blend into the walls, floors, and ceilings of the levels they are in. Discovery. These creatures are rare and are hard to find. They were originally found in level 61, but after their discovery they have started to appear in multiple levels. They were discovered when the Meg Team Compass Point went too far in level 61. Do's and Don'ts Do stay as quiet as possible as they use their hearing to sense you. Throw objects as this will cause them to get distracted for a short amount of time. If you see a strange entity like creature, if you see strange entity like features on a surface, Please walk away quietly. Don't panic and make loud noises. Do not inspect a strange entity like detail on the surface. Now we're on to entity 32, also known as animations. This intrigues me. Not there. Alright. NC number th or 32. Habitat, level 94. Description. Animations of one of, of two entities that inhabit level 94. They are hostile creatures that have the appearance of stop-motion characters, similar to those made in the 30s to 50s. They appear at night and will search for wanderers in level 94. Behaviors. When nighttime comes in level 94, the animations will come out and begin to search for wanderers, or anything that does not appear animated. When they see someone that is not unanimated, they will attempt to kill them in whatever way is easier is for their body type. Claymation characters will drown them in clay, while more plastic or wooden characters will use blunt force. These entities do not exhibit high intelligence, so do your so do your best. So your best chances of survival come from hiding from them. The exception to this is the rebelmen inside the castle of Transparent Mountain, who are highly aware of their, their surroundings. All animations show an extreme level of physical strength. Biology. The physical appearance of the animation 
and its varies greatly. Some will appear as puppets, while others will take the form of a claymation character. They come in a huge variety of shapes, sizes, and caricatures. However, the most defining trait is, they mo is the way they move, which looks like a stop-motion animation. Described as choppy. Discovery. See the MEG discovery log regarding level 94. I should probably not. Audio recording from, I'm going to say, May 2nd, 2020. The following is an audio recording being picked up by a wanderer that was trapped in level 94, which depicts several animations talking, recorded from the wanderer's radio. Begin log. Gracious be the king! The all-powerful one watches over us all! No one shall refuse the king's gifts. The king knows all things. Our nightmare shall be vanquished under his gracefulness. All glory to the king. Wanderer. The animated king. He is all powerful. He is everything. He is... Audio trails off. Assume the animation walked away. End log. Summary, audio took place around the time Team Compass Point was attacked at night time. See the MEG discovery log for more details. <sighs> Do I have to? Do's and don'ts. Do, leave the level 94 before it becomes night time. Hide from the animations. Don't attempt to attack the animations. Don't listen to the words the animations say. I don't know if we've done level 94. Well, if we haven't, we just found a good reason to. This has four revisions. And I plan on reading them all because... Uh, I have the time today. Entity number 33. Habitat. Level 94. Description. Entity 33, also known as the King of the Clouds, the Anime King, or simply as the King, is an entity which resides in the uppermost level on Castle of Transparent Mountain within level 94. He is highly intelligent and illiterate in many fields, and not confused, bewildered, and blind to his own, own powers. Behaviors The king is a self proclaimed king of level 94, with none opposing his power. He sits upon the throne within the castle of Transparent Mountain, awaiting guests to arrive. Once, get, once guests in the form of intelligent entities or humans arrive, a long, long beautiful dining table along with two seats will manifest before the victim. The table's appearance is described as beautiful and ornate and in no way damaged. The king will sit down at one of the seats and will ask the victim to sit down at the other end. There is no way to refuse this offer. The king will begin to talk of wonderful things. He will speak of ways out of the level and out of the infinite maze as guests is trapped in, and to trust in him and set him free. To trust in the king is wise, as he has done no wrong to his people, and to those he has freed. But why you would want to be set free from all the, from his father's kingdom is beyond me. Eventually, the king will begin to speak the inciting words which will welcome you into the, his kingdom. And you will become part of the most beautiful place the world has seen. At least, according to him. Biology. The king's appearance can be only be described as beautiful and definitely without signs of mangling or decay. Upon his head, he wears the crown of the kingdom, 
which shows his status as the king. He is most definitely the king. The king is beautiful inside and out. The king cannot be damaged in any means. He is most certainly very powerful and a very agreeable person overall. The king's offer to join his kingdom cannot be refused. If you do refuse, terrible things might happen to you. Although this is highly likely, the king will be very frustrated at doing so. You don't want to refuse the king. Refusing the king is a terrible thing and should not be done. Accept his command and he will reward you. He has rewarded me well. The king has done nothing but good. I wonder what the other revisions are looking like. Revision number two. Thank God he's gone. Oh God. Oh God. But why would I want him to be gone? The king is not as he appears. The king is gracious. The king is a monster. He wouldn't hurt anyone. He hurts for fun. He lets people have a, have a choice. He's a tyrant. He is despicable. He offers many gifts. He will turn you into a puppet under his own control. He is beautiful. The grass around my neck becomes tired by the second. I've forgotten breath. I forgot how to think. I'm in confusion so thick that you keep forgetting. All I know is the king. All I know is he. Is he great? Charles, you said before, we're too little for me. Did I not pass? No. 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 I want my soul back. There is no God here. What God would let us be here? What God is there or that would condemn us to this? He is no God. We have no God. We have no king. Description. Entity 33 is powerless. He is weak. He is no king of mine. Entity number 33. Habitat level 94. Description. The king is only what you imagine in him to be. What is power to you? What monster lurks under your bed at night? What skeleton is in your, your closet? The king is the lurking anxieties that keep you inside your little head. What can the king do? Well, that's an easy question. The king can only do what you think he can do. Biology. The king, in his standard form, appears as a twisted and corrupted stone statue, wielding a sword and donning a crown known simply as machination. However, he does not stay in this form for long. The king can shift and change to become what you think of him. If you think he's a lion, he'll become a lion. If you think he's a pathetic, whispering insect, then he will become exactly that. What do you think the king is? I think he's nothing. He is nothing to me, and he can't hurt me. NC-33 was discovered alongside nine, level 94 which can be found here in the MEG Discovery of Lent, 94 log. Do's and don'ts. Do's. Think of him as pathetic. He cannot hurt you or anybody else if he isn't allowed to. You're the king here. You're the only one who can shape your own des destiny. Don't let him make you his puppet. You are his puppet master. He is a blind king. He is confused and bewildered. He is an idiot king. His idiocy keeps him back. The only power here is your own. That's how you beat him. It's almost like his test. Once you beat him, stay far away. Far away. He holds himself back. Use that to your advantage. He holds everything he can back. Perhaps some consider it mercy. Don't be intimidated. Don't be impressed. Don't be scared or frightened. Your fear, anger, sadness, and guilt feeds him. You have become your own downfall. He's only what you think he is. And he's disgusting. He's pathetic. He's no god. 
No god will put us here. No god could be that cruel. There is no god. There is no king. There is nobody to lead us here. He's already taken too much from me. I've been left with the husk of my former self in my possession. A third box that once contained in gold. That's me, alright. Every king has a queen. I'm just curious. Oh, 34. Thirty. As in her again. Curious about this, actually. Incredibly curious. But maybe this isn't a good idea in this video. Maybe next video. Yep, that's where we're going tomorrow. Level 94 and its discovery. Right now, we're going on to MC34. Dollface. NC 34, NC number 34, habitat inconsistent. It is unclear what the preferred earth habitat of Dollface is, if any. They have been spotted at, at least once across hundreds of levels, but infrequently enough that we cannot designate their habitat as majority. Description NC 34, or NC is of which are known as Dollface by wanderers, are small, doll like. Similar to Raggedy Ann doll. Humanoid entities that can be found in the back rooms. With the physical body while their physical body appears to be a cloth or roll fleshy. Their physio their physiology is more similar to that of an animation from level 94. They are self-replicating and extremely hostile unless tamed. Tamed instances of ND34 are often picked up as companions by wanderers, considering them to be cute. They remind me of those creepy dolls from Eve, or Ib, however you want to pronounce that one in game's name. Behaviors. Singular instances will run a certain level or her immediate surroundings to its spots that are NC or Wanderer. This is more often than not a Hound or a Death Moth. They will slowly prep Oach and say something along the lines of, Hi, I'm Dollface. It's nice to meet you. Soon after, it may attack or just stand there, but usually it will just run away. If there is a group accompanying it, the rest will attack at this time. Fortunately, dealing with the doll face is its easiest taming one. Thus, just offer them almond water and act friendly to them. After this, the doll face will act kindly to you and follow you around. It is not possible to tame one and if it is part of a large group. Quickly replicating groups of NT-34 have been known to completely dismantle communities in the past. But responding quickly enough to the situation will render them just minor pests. <sighs> Biology Entity 34 is believed to, like, to be either part of engines. Based on entry logs, see below, and their internal organ system, the investigation of one that was found in level 20, it was discovered that while lacking organic material and biofluids, instances of Entity 34 all contain some sort of functional organ system. Eating, drinking, and even sleeping are possible and seemingly needed in order for him to survive. No, this is not confirmed. Usually, it's about 3 feet tall and in weight. The hair is typically made of yarn or horse hair. Eyes are sewn on buttons, and the mouth has, is sewn on with yarn or pike. The skin color is usually dark brown and or dark black. The body is made of fabric and cloth. The ends of their hands are decorated with shards of broken buttons. Offspring created identical to characteristics as, as the original. 
being they reproduce asexually. How this happens is still unclear. Scary. Hallucinations, whether induced by stress, the backgrounds themselves, or other factors, often cause wanderers to see strange things, and killer children's dolls have very rare sightings for those in unstable states. These early sightings may have, may or may not be dollface. The earliest confirmed instance of dollface took place in 1958. Interview Log January 29, The following is an attempt at an interview with NC-34 in order to further understand their behavior when in a passive state. Begin Log Interviewer is Meg Researcher Kim Lee The interviewee is NC-34 Dollface Kim drops a few drops of almond water in onto the mouth stick on NC-34's face. The doll starts convulsing and eventually set it's up on its own. Hi, I'm Dollface. How are you doing today? Hello, Dollface. I'm researcher Kim Lee. Would it be alright if I asked you some questions? Okay. Good. I was created and by our glorious king. He had gifted me life and friendship outside of his kingdom. Isn't he great? Doesn't really seem like friendship to me. Why do you like to hurt people? Hurting people? I would never. Though sometimes I wake up and see red stuff on my hands after I wake up. Does that count? Never mind. Now what can you tell me about Dollface? Is everything alright? Ah, what are you? N234 begins and convulsing violently as his body begins to tear in half from the stomach. Another doll crawls out. What the fuck? Hi! I'm Dollface! How are you doing today? Summary, both dolls were immediately disposed of, and researcher Kim Lee was escorted to safety. End log. Do's and don'ts. Do! Slowly move away if you see a do outside a doll face. Run as fast as you can if it, if it starts to chase you. Don't attempt to tame an instance of NT-34 when in large groups. Don't try to fight or kill doll face when surrounded by duplicates. <clears throat> Finally, we have NG-35, the light guides. Entry number 35. Habitats, majority of levels, notably level 4, level 6, and level 263. Description. Light guides are infinitely small points that radiate lights, forming an orb-like appearance similar to singularity. They are quite rare to come across, and when found can lead wanderers towards supplies and help them avoid dangerous entities. They can move freely, being able to change direction at will, and are also able to face through walls. They appear and disappear at random intervals, but can randomly, but can seemingly control when this occurs. Behaviors: Light guys are docile entities, and no signs of hostility have ever been documented. They have rudimentary 
in communication, being able to move around in a dance-like fashion and changing colors. When two or more entities come across each other, they will all work together in aiding a wanderer. They commonly lead wanderers to sources of almond water and other vital supplies. They seemingly have awareness of the location of other entities and aid in helping travelers avoid them. They appear to have knowledge and sight of things beyond human comprehension due to their nigh omniscient, om omniscient knowledge of the level they are currently in. Biology. Light guides are infinitely small singularities of pure light, apparently spherical, ranging in size between 5 to 15 centimeters. It is impossible to kill a light guide as they carry as they can face through any and all objects. Discovery. Light guides have been reported to exist as long as the backrooms themselves. The first encounter with this entity was in level 4, with it leading a group of travelers to create supplies. They are found in most levels, but most commonly in level well, negative 0, 4, and 6. Notebook from within level 2. What was that thing? These very glowy things, or some kind, showed up out of nowhere. Out of every oddity found within the purgatory of existence, this is the one time I was actually helped by something. It led me to other survivors, other people. Finally, it didn't know who, what that thing was, but I owe my life to it. I asked the other survivors if they have seen anything like this, and told, and they told me I was hallucinating. So, no, I know these things are real. The ball of light, as some of the sounds, may very well be the last time I am shown any compassion. I don't know what those things are. Angels, perhaps? Whatever they are, I sincerely thank them. Do's and don'ts. Do, follow the light guides. Don't. Do not attempt to physically attack them. They will not uh, retaliate, but it seemingly bothers them. Do not steer off the path. You are receiving guidance. Yeah, don't be rude now. Well, that was today's five entities. If you liked this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I guess tomorrow we're going to see what level 94 is about. So until then, goodbye!